Come to beastofwar.com and comment every day for your chance to win two-player Mega Bundles. Good morning and welcome to day two of the Flames of War fourth edition bootcamp. Yep. Now, before I get into it, um, first let's just do a very quick pan of the tables. The tables are now complete. This is our mid-war desert theme. They have now been fully, fully finished, sand blended and everything else. Um, and I think they look absolutely spectacular. Um, you know, all the little trees and stuff like that are from Battlefront, along with these beautiful, let me just move this over here, buildings, uh, Middle Eastern buildings, which uh, just work so, so well. They all come pre-painted. It's typical Gale Force 9 quality. It's lovely stuff. Right. Before we get into the events of today and what Mr. Justin and Mr. John are, are hoping to achieve, I just wanted to say a quick thank you. Uh, firstly, thanks to all the team for getting the, the tables looking absolutely beautiful. But I wanted to say a big thank you to the Flames of War community. Because yesterday, in the intro, I was talking about how Flames of War was, became my gateway um, into historical, historical yeah. gaming. But I've got to say that it only truly became that way because of how fantastic, how friendly, yeah, well, and just how brilliant the Flames of War community themselves actually are. Well, there was a tournament you went to with Dr. Dave, mm -hmm. where you had your pulpy army, and everybody yeah. welcomed you, and it was fun. Absolute turning point for me. Um, uh, to, get, to give you a basic outline of what happened. So I came into uh, Flames of War and historical gaming a little bit kicking and screaming. I had a somewhat open mind, but I was thinking, that's going to be crap. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. Absolutely loved it. The game itself was fabulous. The 15 millimeter scale, oh, I will do a video over this weekend talking and exuding about how much I love the 15 millimeter scale. But whenever I went to that GT and I started to meet the Flames of War community, but not only in person, but even in the comments on the videos that myself and Dr. Dave were making and, and the other Flames of War stuff that we have done over the years since then, they've just been friendly, kind, and uh, just really, really respectful. And, and you can see that respect that even among the top players, because we've been to some other tournaments and interviewed some of the top players, the, they, they compete hard, but the respect among them uh, is great. And there's all kinds of players. There's those who are really into the nitty gritty details of, uh, of aspects of history. There are those who are more into the nitty gritty details of the, of the actual game and the meta itself. And then uh, there's all shades in between. But the, the thing that they all share in common is uh, they're just incredibly respectful of one another and respectful of new people and, that come into uh, their community. So I just wanted to say a personal thank you to you guys because uh, you changed you changed my life from a, in a gaming perspective and probably beyond because as I said yesterday, unlocking history for me actually meant I understood better what was happening today. Cool that. Right. Today is all about the gaming. You're going to meet Igor and Mike, two world-class players. These guys have been up to their necks in fourth edition, and they're going to be the ones who are going to be guiding us all uh, through the game and through our first games as we start to, to learn it. You looking forward to this? Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing some idiots on the table blowing stuff up. Of course, John, on the other hand, he's sitting there with his grants going, well, I still have to finish building my stuff. Oh, is John not finished building yet? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to get we'll have to open up a little bit early this morning and get uh, get a bit more hobby time in. Right, we have a big day ahead of us. Remember, prizes. You could win um one of three two player mega bundles to uh yeah with your rule books, your army books, your armies, everything in there. All you have to do is get engaged. Jo join the live blog over here at beastofwar.com, go into each of the posts, post a comment ask questions, do whatever you want. We're keeping an eye on questions and things like that, and we will punt them back. Some highlights from yesterday. Uh, certainly, there was a video that we made which is talking about the basic of uh, basics of campaigns, okay? Because we're actually running a starter's campaign, a beginner's campaign in here of El Alamein. Um, so we want to show you guys that campaigns can even be used in your first steps of uh, playing uh, a new game. And then the other highlight for me was the Phil Yates interview yeah. where we got an FAQ on what is different from version 4 
from version 3. Okay, time to get stuck in.